Hello from one of the great venues in world football, the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu in Madrid. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It's Real Madrid facing Manchester City. Well, this is what the Champions League is all about. Some of the world's best players, two excellent teams and a great stadium. Let's hope we're not disappointed. Madrid side, Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Nacho Fernandez in central defence, Federico Valverde plays alongside Jude Bellingham in the centre of midfield, and so many different ways to configure an attack, in this case it'll be two men up front. And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And the lone striker today is Erling Haaland. And this confrontation is underway. Running with the ball confidently. But they took care of the situation defensively. Rodri. De Bruyne. Very quick thinking there. Bellingham. Mendy has it. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Well, if you're looking for a player to take any game by the scruff of the neck, look no further than Vinicius Junior, top quality. What are you expecting to see from him? Defenders, Derek, hate playing against players with pace, and he's got plenty of pace to run in behind. He does it cleverly. He comes short, then spins in behind, and then he's 1v1 against the goalkeeper, and he usually finishes it off. Walker failed to hold it. Vinicius Jr. And Bellingham. Clear foul, but a Real Madrid advantage. Rodrigo. Is this the moment? Nicely saved. Fancy a short one. Electing to cross into the centre. An attack full of promise. Course. Nicely timed tackle. Succeeded in keeping it in play. De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne on the move. Can he give them the advantage? A smart stop here.
And he's got the beating of his opponent. Well, then there to tidy up. And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. Clears it away. He's given it straight to the opposition. Room to roam for the Merengues here. Just unable to get his cross beyond the first defender. Doku. Now Holland. And he's in. Well, fantastic reflex action. Federico Valverde. That's a good looking ball. Really good, strong tackle. And it'll be a throw in. Well read to put an end to that attack. Vinicius Jr. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Valverde. Vasquez. And back to Valverde. Vinicius Jr. And an astute piece of defending. Rodri Gvardiol and Bellingham can he put them in front and a goal the opener in the semi-final first goal of the contest the weight of the through ball is key to this goal but the keeper should do better in his near post that's gone in far too easily that's not good goalkeeping well what delight for Ancelotti that's just what he wanted so the match has restarted 1-0 here De Bruyne Phil Foden now Regained possession. Bellingham. On to Holland. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Fancies it. And the keeper had the measure of that one. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Rodrigo. And Bellingham. Counter-attacking, very much an option. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Holland. On to Holland. Not the pass he had in mind. Vinicius Jr. Walker. Here's Alvarez. Kevin De Bruyne. On to Holland. Just the challenge that was required. And options in the centre. 
And making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Holland and able to close down the shots. And the first half is in the history books here at the Bernabeu. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. So the second half underway, and no doubt about it, City with work ahead of them. Might be a chance here. On his own, with only the keeper to beat. But he's missed it, Stuart. Well, he went for power, but he didn't make the perfect connection. That's why he's missed the target there. Pep must be wondering now, is it going to be one of those days for his team? playing with purpose no oh, chance perhaps oh did so well to deny him Keen to take it short here. Now, who can he pick out? Oh, great block. Corner for City. Can they find an equaliser? So, making the substitution now. It's a short corner. Alvarez and it's Ruben Dias Holland and it went sailing over the crossbar not a moment he'll want to remember being pressed here clear foul but a Real Madrid advantage Tony Kors and now Rodrigo oh what an opportunity and a goal that's his brace they just can't keep it quiet Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Mendy. Course. On to Valverde. Vinicius. Now with Rodrigo. Oh dear. Not a great effort, was it? Ruben Dias. Walker now. And 
And Bernardo Silva has it. Did well to clear it away. He's going forward well here. Federico Valverde. Rodrigo. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. Well, it looks so promising, but it all comes to nothing. Phil Foden. Here's Alvarez. Showing patience as they look for a way back into this. What a vital intervention! Rodrigo. Well, a bit wasteful from the Merengues. Pressing high up has its advantages. Cuts it back. The verdict is offside here. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Rodri. Bernardo Silva. Foden. Danger here as he runs at them. Can they keep it out? Blocking it. Not covering up defensively. Just the challenge that was required. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Grealish. Looking for the right angle. Bernardo Silva could reduce the deficit. Can they stop it going in? Danger averted. Vinicius Junior. Mendy has it. Nacho Fernandez. Bellingham. And an astute piece of defending. Kevin De Bruyne. Now Holland. Oh, nice ball. And the referee says corner kick. Substitution for Real Madrid. Who's going to get on the end of it? Read it well, cleared it well. well. They need to get tighter. Rodri. Now with Grealish. Oh, good save. And a retrospective yellow card is the referee's verdict. Well, no doubt about it. That earlier challenge was a definite booking. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. City get the corner. Who can they pick out? Blocked it brilliantly. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Rodrigo and Bellingham oh that's a super piece of defending the referee's verdict is three additional minutes racing forward trying to catch them out De Bruyne he read the situation defensively and did his job. Yeah. 
Electing to shoot. And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. And there it is, the full-time whistle. It's advantage, Real Madrid going into the return leg. Well, it was a great performance, wasn't it? You could see the game plan from the first minute, and they executed it so well. Surely they'll be moving into the final with another display like that. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals.